So what we are doing here is an in-district action where we are talking with our elected officials about housing. Um, we have three buckets in which this falls in, one of which is the Affordable um, Homes Act. We are also talking about uh, tenant protections and tenant rights, as well as the Returning Citizens Bill, which is focused on supporting people who are returning from incarceration uh, and receiving state IDs in order for them to be able to obtain housing. There are a lot of important bills uh, in the legislature right now that could really impact a lot of us here. And so it's important to know, you know whether or not um, these legislators support these bills. The event was divided into parts, with background on the issues provided by members of the organizations, followed by testimony from several constituents, and concluding with the elected officials' responses. Ultimately, the conclusion was that they supported more money into several programs, but needed to see the language in the amendments before committing to supporting them. In February, I was walking across Lynchville Drive, and a car came up and ran me over. I had achieved my highest degree in my field. I have a doctor. And I was left homeless, no money, desperate. And I had applied to housing. Somebody said, hey, you're old enough now. You can apply for senior housing. But it saved me. I live an incredible life. I'm alive. But that wouldn't have been true if I didn't have housing. We are 200,000 units short in the Commonwealth today. I support investing billions of dollars into developing public housing for seniors, for people with disabilities, for families, for people who need a leg up. I think it's important for Lynn especially to also advocate for the expansion of vouchers. But like Dan, I don't, I, I'm not going to commit to an amendment I've never read. And so I hope that you come away understanding that I'm with you in spirit, but I want to see the language. It is very difficult to commit to amendments or to legislation when the bill is not before you. I'm supportive of the governor's bill as she filed it, but there is a serious question of how we use our money. In Massachusetts, both the Senate and the House has said we were going to dedicate more than ever before more resources to public housing and towards affordable housing. But we have to make up for decades and decades of disinvestment. Unless we start thinking a little bigger, uh, we're, we're not going to put a dent in it. We need to start talking about public housing, new public housing. Yeah. None of it being built right now is being built for families. What we need to do and commit to is what can we do for the people that are living here right now. For LCTV News, I'm Danny Vittori.